Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack and today I'm really excited. We're in Brenham, Texas and us Texans love something really special about Brenham, Texas. Do you see where we are? You guys read that sign? We're at Bluebell Creameries. That means this is where they make Bluebell ice cream. I'm so excited to check this place out. Come here and take a look at this. Right out front, they've got a giant statue of Belle, their signature cow. That's like Bluebell's mascot. And she's being led around by her little girl right here. And they're about to go get some milk so that they can take it inside and make some ice cream. Do you guys want to see inside Bluebell? Let's go inside and check out all the things that they have to see. Come on. Come on, it's a whole lot of fun. We don't get to come to Brenham every single day, and this is really a special treat because Cowboy Jack loves ice cream, and I'm sure you guys do too. Wow, over here they even have an old ice cream truck. Let's go look at that. That's really cool looking. Wow, you guys see what this is? This is a 1930s Blue Bell antique Ford truck. Wow, Cowboy Jack drives a Ford, but it's not quite a 1930s. It's not exactly new, but it's not this old. This is really cool. I mean, the 1930s, they were using trucks just like this to deliver ice cream all over the state of Texas. Whoa. Guys, come over here. You can see. This is really neat. This would be like the, the device that you could open it up and get the ice cream out right here through this door. That is so cool. And there's the Blue Bell logo right there. We just saw the statue that looks just like this. That's Belle and the little girl leading her on her way. That is so neat. Wow. I just love the look of this truck. I mean, 1930s, what a great time. And they sure did make really cool vehicles back then. Like I said, it's a Ford just like I drive. Wow, guys, well, now that we've seen the old school 1930s ice cream truck, I came upon this sign. And what does that say? Visitor Center, ice cream parlor, and country store. And an arrow pointing this way. Let's go check it out. <laughs> this is going to be a whole lot of fun. I mean, Bluebell has been my favorite ice cream since I was a little bitty cowboy. Now I get to see it for the first time. I've actually never been here, even though I don't live that far away. But we're here in beautiful Brenham, Texas. I tell you what, I've never even explored the town before, but there's beautiful trees and scenery all around. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, the nice folks here at Bluebell invited us to come check out the original ice cream parlor and country store. Let's go check it out. You know, they even have a small baseball hall of fame in here. We can take a look around that too. Whoa. I mean, look at this place. This is fantastic. It's amazing. Look at that. I mean, this is an elevator up to the second floor, but it's painted like a barn. So when we push the button in a minute, those doors are going to open up. It's going to look like the barn doors are opening. That's so cool. Right here, we've got the Texas High School Baseball Coaches Hall of Fame. That's so cool. So that means these are the best coaches from all over the great state of Texas. And they're whole Hall of Fame is hosted right here at the Bluebell Factory. That's really neat. Wow. You look around, there's a lot of baseball greats in here. I see a lot of names and a lot of really successful coaches all over our Lone Star State. And all kind of memorabilia all over the place. All right, well, you guys didn't want to talk about baseball. You wanted to talk about ice cream, right? Let's go up this elevator and see what that's all about. I'm just going to push this button and then we wait. Hey, look, some cows. <laughs> that's really cool. Hey, there's another painting of Belle, the Blue Bell mascot. All right, well, let's get ready for this door to open. It's going to be really fun. All right, come on. If you guys have ever been in an elevator before, there's a lot of buttons to push, but we don't want to push them all, right? We're going to go to the second level, so I'm just going to push that one button, and then it's hands off. You just wait until you get to your floor. <laughs> 
it's dinging. We're going up. Whoa! Here we are in the ice cream parlor. This is really neat. There is Texas Bluebell themed artwork all over the place in this. I mean, look, these are some of my favorite flavors right here. That's strawberry, cookie two-step, my all-time favorite, homemade vanilla. Wow, over here they have a lot of different displays. These are models of little Bluebell trucks, the delivery trucks they use to deliver their ice cream all over the place. Boy, I've been eating banana pops and fudge bars since I was a little cowboy. That's really cool. You guys, come look at this. Come look at this. So Bluebell isn't just in Texas. I mean, they make it here in Texas and it even tastes better right here in Texas. But outside of our borders, they actually deliver the ice cream all over the place. And here's a map of where they deliver it to. So right here is the beautiful Lone Star State. Everything between the Sabine and the Rio Grande. But they actually deliver it up above the Red River and into Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, even the Carolinas. That's crazy, it goes all over the place. And it's easy to understand why it's delivered all over the place. I mean, it's the best ice cream in the world, right? Everything's better in Texas. I'm not just saying that because I am a Texan. I'm saying that because it's true. This is really awesome ice cream. Look in this freezer here. They have all kinds of flavor. I see all sorts of colors and different flavors and names. I mean, I've seen, I'm seeing some that I've never even seen before. Cookies and cream cone. Bluebell, are you hiding out from us? You're not giving us the good stuff? I haven't seen that at my HEB. Peaches and homemade vanilla. There is nothing that'll cool you down on a hot Texas day like peaches and homemade vanilla. Coconut cream pie, that's one of their new flavors. It's really, really tasty. Ooh, look at this one. This is Cowboy Caden's favorite. It's funny, Cowboy Caden really loves coffee flavored ice cream, but that's his favorite. <laughs> All right, whoa, whoa, I see black walnut. Do you guys know about black walnut? Black walnut is a native tree here in Texas, and they actually produce a very kind of sour, sweet uh, walnut flavor, and they use it to make ice cream. When it, you put that in ice cream, it comes out really, really tasty. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, well, what do you think you do at an ice cream creamery? I mean, of course, there's a ton to look at. You can see everything they do. But also, you're not gonna come here and not taste some ice cream. We're gonna go over here and taste a few flavors. This is gonna be a whole lot of fun. Wow. So they have this big old counter where they keep all of their different flavors. And I mean, I see a ton of flavors. I mean, they just have so many flavors. There's even more than you'd see in the store. I mean, orange swirl, rainbow sherbet, millennium crunch, that's one of my favorites. Peachy peach, that seems really tasty. Wow. We have a whole lot of flavors all around here. This looks delicious. Oh, hi, how are you? Good, how are y'all? Good, what's your name? Hi, I'm Bethany. Um, I've been here for about three years. Wow, you've worked at Bluebell for three years? I bet you've gotten to taste a lot of ice cream. Um, I've tasted a lot. Um, wow. I've probably tried about every flavor that we have. Really? What's your all-time favorite flavor? Ooh, that's really hard. My all-time favorite is probably Happy Tracks. Happy Tracks? Yes. Wow, what's Happy Tracks? Creamy vanilla ice cream loaded with chocolate-coated peanut butter cups and a rich chocolate fudge swirl. Whoa, my head's kind of spinning. That's a whole lot of stuff happening in one cup of ice cream. Yes, sir. Wow, well, I saw this one over here, something about peaches. Let's go take a look at that. Wow, peachy peach. I've never seen that in the store before. Is that available? So peachy peach is a parlor-only flavor, so it's only made in three gallons. Oh, okay. Well, could I give it a try? Yes, sir. That'd be great. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, look at that peachy peach. You guys see what color that is? It's orange, just like a peach. It's kind of a creamy orange color. Oh, wow. That is delicious. It's a crying shame we can't get that in the stores because Cowboy Jack could probably eat a lot of that. That's really good. <laughs> wow, well, thank you so much. 
All right, well now that I got to taste that peachy peach, I'm gonna go ahead and throw away my trash because we are Texans, you know? We don't leave our trash laying around for everybody. We pick up after ourselves. Check this sign out over here. It says Bluebell Ice Cream. We're cranky about flavor. That's kind of a funny play on words because you make ice cream with this kind of crank back in the old times. They don't do it that way now. It's a much bigger process these days. But it's just kind of talking about how they used to crank it and says we're cranky about flavor. It means they're very, very picky with their products and it shows because they're really, really tasty and the quality control is incredible. They have to do so much to keep this place up and running. Use only the best milk and best, best cream that they can get and it's all right here in Texas. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, let's go check out the visitor center. Come on, it's gonna be a whole lot of fun in here. This is where they've got like a lot of the old advertisements and history of Bluebell. It's an old company. It's been around for a long, long time. There's a whole lot to see. Wow, it's a little bit dark right here. I don't know if you're able to see this, but this is an antique old doctor's buggy that dates back to the 1920s, even back before cars. See, there's no motor anywhere. This would be pulled around by a horse. That is so cool. It actually looks kind of comfortable, right? But these wheels are metal. These are like old wagon wheels. So you're riding on this, it's gonna be a rough ride. And I don't even know that they had paved roads back then either. So you're riding on dirt with no shocks and no inflated rubber tires. Whoo, talk about a rough ride. All right, come on, let's go check this place out. Wow, there's a whole lot of Bluebell history in here. Oh, look, there's one of those hand crank uh, ice cream machines like I was talking about. That's really cool. You could come in here and get lost in the history of Bluebell. And there's a whole lot going on. I remember this ad from when I was a little boy. It doesn't talk about what year it was, but I bet it was the 1980s. <laughs> Whoa, look at this little cowboy. He's getting a haircut with a Bluebell bowl on his head. That's not in style anymore. <laughs> Guys, so here in Brenham, Texas, they're obviously known for their amazing Bluebell ice cream. You know what else they're famous for? Blue bonnets. In the springtime, every year, the whole countryside is covered in these beautiful flowers, blue bonnets. Blue bonnets are the state flower of Texas and they're really, really pretty. You know what's also really cool? The scientific name of blue bonnets actually includes Cowboy Jack's real last name. No big deal. <laughs> wow. So over here, you can take a walk through time with Bluebell. It's all written out by years. Let's start over here. So look here. We start with some pictures in 1907. There's the original building right there, even before it was called Bluebell. That's called Brenham Creamery Company. And these two gals look like they're having a really good time eating some ice cream. And we move on through the years, the 1920s. 1930s that's that truck we saw that truck out front that's so cool that's a real picture of it back in the day 1940s wow so that's what the ice cream containers used to look like a long time ago they sure do look different today 1950s Whew, i love the 1950s that's when rock and roll really first got started. You had guys like Chuck Berry and Jerry Lee Lewis, and boy, Cowboy Caden sure loves the song Great Balls of Fire. Anyways, look at this. That's 1950s. That's really, it sounds like a long time ago, but it wasn't that long ago. Of course, it's a little bit older than Cowboy Jack. Then here we are in the 1970s. See, this is the facility of the 1970s. There still wasn't even all that much around here. You see a lot of farmland and countryside all around it. And then this is the main factory and the building that we're in right now. But fast forward today, there's a whole lot of different buildings and a whole lot of people that work here every single day because they produce a lot of ice cream. Here we are in the new century. This is when Bluebell brought out one of the best flavors, in my opinion, Millennium Crunch. Wow, that was a little trip down memory lane with Bluebell, but there's a whole lot more to see still. Come on, let's go check it out. 
<laughs> you guys see that? If you come here, you could take your picture in this and be an original taste tester for Bluebell. You guys want to see Cowboy Jack be a taste tester? Hello. <laughs> that was really fun. I think it fits little cowboy and cowgirl faces a little bit bigger, better than Cowboy Jack's. Look at that. That's one of the original logos there. Bluebell Ice Cream. That's when they changed the name from Brenham Creamery. Whoa. I mean, there is so much to see. My head's kind of spinning. <laughs> Are you guys getting dizzy yet? I know I am. It's a whole lot of pictures. Even the astronauts love Bluebell ice cream. You know, NASA is located in Houston, Texas, and these astronauts are sitting up in space enjoying some Bluebell. That is so cool. So over the years, Bluebell ice cream has gotten so popular all over the country that they don't have enough space to make all that delicious ice cream right here in Texas. They actually have to produce it some other places. So check out this map. This map shows you this is where we are today, right at the Bluebell headquarters in Brenham, Texas. But all of these other buildings are places where they also make Bluebell ice cream. So even right out here near Tucson, Arizona, all the way up to Colorado Springs. We're looking at uh, Oklahoma City. Uh, looks like we got Kansas City, Kansas here, Little Rock, Arkansas, even all the way up here in Missouri. I mean, there is Bluebell ice cream being made all over the great United States. That's so exciting. Even here all the way up and down the East Coast. Looks like our friends in Florida sure do like Bluebell. Look at all these factories they have down here. That's so fun. So here's some of the Bluebell uniforms the delivery drivers used to use back in the day. You kind of recognize these old school delivery driver hats and they had these jackets to stay warm because when you're in a delivery truck, what do you have to have it? really cold because you don't want that ice cream to melt in transport right so you actually even though you're sometimes you're in the texas heat if you have to go in the back of that refrigerated freezer truck you might need a jacket to get stay warm wow what is this this is an ice cream freeze from the 1930s that could produce individual batches of ice cream wow that's really neat i don't even know how this contraption works but it's really neat to look at I mean, they don't build them like they used to. This thing is solid metal. Got even more ice cream history all over the place in here. Hey, here's one of those ice cream churns just like we were talking about with the hand crank. I made this kind of ice cream with my grandpa when I was a little boy. What you would do is put your cream and milk in here and close that lid. And then you would surround this part with ice and rock salt put the crank on there and you would be stuck here cranking all day but when you were done you'd have a delicious batch of ice cream that you made by hand one of our favorite flavors to make always in the summertime was peaches and cream that's really cool it takes me right back to when i was a little boy and here we have a photo opportunity with our good friend bell boy i just love bell she's so great all right, cowboys and cowgirls, what an adventure here at Bluebell in Brenham, Texas. We've had so much fun getting a look all around, but you know what? If you come here yourself, there's a whole lot more to see. We didn't want to give away all their secrets on film, right? So that if you come here yourself with your family, you can go and see the observation deck and check out where they actually make the ice cream and a whole lot more behind the scenes stuff that we can't show to you on the show. Anyhow, Boy, we've had a good time. I know I've got a belly full of ice cream and I know a whole lot more about Bluebell and where it's made and how it's made and where it comes from and all that good stuff. So if you had a good time, make sure to click subscribe to Cowboy Jack and I hope to see you again real soon. But until then, 